All right, y'all. Welcome back to our another space for Center Fire Royal. So last week I told y'all everyone's up leveled up at 99. I thought we got to 100, but that didn't happen. I managed to get that one armor for uh for Samire, so that her armor is around 300. I think I got the lowest armor right now. So, uh, wish me luck. Um, but Samira asked to hang out. She wanted to talk to us because today's our last day for if I thought to Maruki. So let's see what she wants. Yep. Yep, gotta go see my girlfriend. Uh, um... <laughs> this is her time I invited the boy over to my house. So I'm kind of nervous. It's nice and tidy. Thank you. People always say a messy room means a messy heart, so... Oh. Maybe I should clean up my room then. <laughs> um... Um, I asked you here today because I want to tell you my decision. This is where Kasuma and I promised each other we would be the best in the world. Pretty much everything in here is the same as in Kasuma's bedroom. The colors are different, but not much else. That's how it always ha was. K Kasuma kept saying we should get the same style, the same clothes. She really loved you. Yes. Yes, so... I lost her. I, I just went to shock. I can talk about it now that I have some distance from it, but before I was too. Honestly, in the grand scheme of things, I'm grateful to Dr. Maruki. Grateful for what? Well, he showed me it was possible to live my life the way Kasumi had lived hers. <sighs> I ran away from who I really was, sure, but I can't have lived in Asamira. I probably never have ta talked to you. I still be crying every day. Never talked to you, blah. Becoming Kasami really, Kasami really helped me come into, into your life. That's true. And because everything happened the, the way it did, I found ways to go back to being Samira. One step at a time. I think I really needed that time I spent as my sister. That's why I'm grateful to Dr. Maruki. But... And that's why I have something to tell him, too. Or rather, I want him to show him that I found a way to face reality. If Dr. Murky sees how far I've come, I'll let the thing and give him the strength to do the same. That's the spirit. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'll be the strongest in Mary Yoshi's how I, I can be. Oh, here we go. Fusion. Ha! Nice. White queen right this here. Is... My power. Look at me and I'm getting um Emma Frost vibes right now. That's why I said white queen. Alright. Don't get twisted, alright? It's not Is that what they had to change your name? Yeah. Probably like that. I don't know. Thank you so much, RL Senpai. If I hadn't met you, I'd never have found the strength to face myself. I hope we'll always be able to count on each other. That way I won't ever lose myself again. I promise. Yes! Yes, we can help each other reach up new heights. Thank you for bringing me here. Uh. Change. Alright, um... So one for two times, okay. Well... The Kurgle's not gonna matter because we're fighting a uh, boss, so it won't matter. Uh oh. Ah, you're back. <laughs> that was a really bad thing. I'm gonna close up shop for today. We were so busy today, I ran out of all my greetings. I don't even remember the last time that happened. Weird, huh? Make sure you close up. Anyway, don't forget to lock up. Final today. All right, now let's wait. Rock this shit, yeah. Kind of yeah. Nope. See. Yeah. See you tomorrow. My apologies for calling so late. 
This is Maruki, by the way. I'm actually rather close by. Would you mind lending me an ear? There's something important we need to talk about. Okay. Let's get right and if you do intend to confront me, I believe there's something you have to give me first. Yep, the calling card. All right. Thank you. I'll be at the cafe shortly. See you later. Yeah, and look, his hair is back to regular. It's not like, you know, the eyes of one to be look. <laughs> I caught all of that. Just as we suspected, he knew he'd have to get a calling card. I have no clue how this meeting is going to go down. Hey, uh... What's up? Just make sure you keep your guard up, okay? No music at all. Completely quiet. I'll just add this. Let's save this. <laughs> Completely quiet right here. Completely quiet. Alright, we're... Hey. Let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna finish it. We might have to make a decision where it's like, where it could potentially end the game. Sorry for the last minute visit. How's Yoshizawa-san holding up? I've been concerned about a potential relapse, considering her difficulties with accepting this reality. She's my girlfriend, she's doing good. She's just fine. I see. No, that's great news. So, getting down to business. I wanted to confirm with you one last time. Is there no other way to come to an agreement besides fighting? You, you, you scared? You scared? Yeah, I don't want the smoke. You ducking? You can't accept this reality. The reality I created may seem distorted from your point of view, but it's a reality where everyone is happy. If you just stay. You'll never have to suffer the pain of loss, or the pain from having people and things stolen away from you. Like you have? <laughs> mm, got you! So, you saw what happened with Rumi. I'm not the one who suffered. She is. But... She's still living a wonderful life right now. In this world you call a distorted reality. But she still doesn't remember you, right? And you're fine with that? She may not be in my life anymore. But at least her own life is a happy one now. Damn. I'm not just doing this for Rumi. I want all of you to live just as happily as she is. But for Rumi's happiness to last, I have to move on. But you don't want everybody else to move on. After all that's happened to her, to me, I just can't drag her into it. Doc. My stance will not change. Strange circumstances have led to my gaining this power. However, I now recognize it as being wholly inevitable. This is something only I am capable of doing. I promise. Every person alive will be happy in the world I create. So, let me ask you the same. After really considering every option, do you have any doubts about your views? What do you mean? I suppose it's more accurate to ask, do you two gentlemen have any doubts? You're here, aren't you, Akechi-kun? Mm. Akechi! You caught me. <laughs> oh, it was just a hunch. This issue doesn't only affect you. Akechi-kun, this involves you, too. 
Both for catching me? <sighs> what do these two have to do with... The relationship you two share is very unusual. A detective and a phantom thief. Despite being enemies, your relationship isn't based on hatred or ill will. That's why I found it so tragic when I learned what happened in Shido's palace. You bastard! So, so, so. my final enemy is a puppet version of myself. I... Say, didn't you regret how things ended with him? You two came to a deep understanding of one another. Yet you had no choice but to leave Akechikun to his fate. That's why I created a reality where you two could have a fresh start together. Oh, it's gonna show what happened. After all this, that's what you have to say. Seriously, you really are. That would mean the Akechi in the real world is... Wait. Get what I'm saying? I genuinely didn't want to tell you like this. I didn't want to make it seem like I'm holding him hostage. But no matter what you may think of me, I just want you all to accept this reality and move on with your happy lives. So you're dead too, then. And that matters how, exactly. Don't tell me you think dangling my life before us is going to have any impact on our decision. So you knew. Well, I lacked conclusive evidence. But after I fought against you all, I had a gap in my memory that ended with meeting up with him again. There were also the cases of Wakaba Ishiki and President Okumura. Of course, I'd find all of that suspicious. I see. I had a feeling the truth of the matter still wouldn't dissuade you, Akechikun. But how about you? You think dangling my life before us is going to affect our decision? That's what Akechikun said a moment ago. If that's how you see it at this point, I'm fine with it. But I'm still going to ask you, one last time, will you accept the reality I create for you? You were the guiding light to my research. You showed me the way so I could make my dream into reality. I have nothing but gratitude for you. Not a single ounce of ill will. That's why I wanted you of all people to understand. Perhaps I shouldn't ask you for an answer on the spot like that. I'll be going now. You forgot something. <laughs> ah, that's right. I've heard your calling. And about my question, let's do this. I'll be waiting in the palace tomorrow, just as I promised. If you still haven't changed your mind by then, we'll meet there. But if you don't show, I'll take that to mean you've accepted my reality. See you. What are you gonna do? I'd like to speak with him. Akechi. Gotcha. It makes sense, honestly. Oh, he's I'll leave the decision up to you. Alive. Let me know when you've reached like, an answer. Alive. Said Wakaba Okumura. Makes sense. I will carve my own path for myself. I refuse to accept a reality concocted by someone else, stuck under their control for the rest of my days. S 
So what? That's the path I chose. All you have to do is stick to your guns and challenge Maruki. Or are you really so spineless that you'd fold over some bullshit trivial threat on my life? This is a trivial. It is. Do you think I'd be happy with this? Being shown mercy now, of all times. I don't want to be pitied. This isn't something I'm debating with you. Your indecisiveness on the matter is essentially a betrayal of my wishes. I want to hear you say it aloud. What do you intend to do? If I get Marky, I will return to virtual reality. But I catch you. I won't wait a moment longer. Answer me. Or stop at Marky. All right. I'm relieved to hear it. I will never accept this form of reality. I'm done being manipulated. Let's go back to our true reality. We you know what's crazy? Why didn't Maruki bring back Kasumi? I get that. I mean, yes, Mary was acting like um, Kasumi, but why didn't she bring her back? Because that would have been way harder for Super Mario. That would have been ten times harder. Oh, snap. as the eye can see. <laughs> All right. What's a life worth in a reality that was cooked up just to satisfy someone else? I say none. We have to win this, no matter what. There's no going back now. I still need the, uh, we still might need the, uh, the, the, uh, have the curse attack. You still might need that. Damn. It takes a lot of SP too, so. We'll take we'll take this one out. This does this does the all fails. I think I'm gonna need all fails on this one. All right, folks. All right, we're all here. It's time, our final battle. Maruki came by LeBlanc last night, so we gave him the calling card. I doubt Maruki is still interested in discussion. You realize there's no backing out now, right? <laughs> Ain't no way we're gonna run now. Damn right. We're gonna confront Doc in his palace, show him what's up, and go back to our own reality, right? 
Let's do this. Right. It appears we're all ready. It's time to take back what belongs to us. Our own reality. Oh, different music. All right, guys, this is it. On to our final battle, but we're gonna end this video right here. Next video, the final battle. See you guys in a bit.